If you've been more in tune with OC recently, you might have seen that the rank 1 player, Emrek, got a 540 hertz monitor. And I've heard about this monitor recently myself too. I mean, 540 hertz is insane sounding. And I've heard reviews that say it's so smooth, it's like looking through a window. I've also made a video in the past about a 390Hz monitor for OSU, and I've been using it ever since. And with just how much visual motion clarity can help in a rhythm aim game like OSU, I knew I had to try this monitor out. So I got the monitor, unboxed it, got it all set up on my desk, but there was one huge issue. I've been decaying hard in Osu. Rank graph going down, consistency feeling horrible. I haven't even really farmed in like seven months. And because of that, I don't know if I'm in a really good position to test out 540 Hertz. Is what I would say if I didn't spend the week leading up to getting the monitor, grinding for a new top play and improving, getting a ton of new scores and high star FCs and PP. Okay, okay, that is 15 on the global leaderboard. Holy sh**. Nice, sure, yeah. Yes, oh my God, finally. <laughs> Another 500, it's been like a week now. The monitor is coming in like a couple days. I'm ready, I'm more ready than I've ever been. So now I was fully prepared with the new monitor set up, ready to see if it would be this crazy experience where I'm able to be even more consistent than ever before. And I'll just share my first reaction using the monitor. Okay, okay. So, initial impressions of the monitor. Um, I choked PP. I mean, that's good, I guess. <laughs> that was definitely the best run I've had on this map. I, I feel like it might have felt like a, a little bit easier to read, like a little bit more visual clarity. Yeah, it would have been like 500. Better AC FC on this would be my top play too. Okay, this is interesting. I'm getting my initial impressions of the monitor. That was like the first map I've really played with it. And like scrolling through the menus, I'm not noticing that much of a difference but okay, maybe there is a little bit of a, of a visual clarity upgrade. Maybe it's all in my head. I don't know yet, but okay, decent start, decent start. So after using the 540 Hertz monitor for a day, my full initial impressions were that at least when it comes to Osu, it didn't actually seem like there was that much of a difference outside of really high AR, high BPM gameplay. I'm talking AR 9.3 DT, whatever that is, like 10.6 and 270 plus BPM maps were really the only moments I felt like I was noticing and maybe benefiting from that higher motion clarity from a reading slash consistency standpoint. I decided to spend the next day messing around with the monitor on my stream and one of the first things I had to see was if AR11, something I can't normally play, felt any different. Alright, let's see. Will I notice any difference? No. <laughs> no. Feels like AR11. No, it feels like AR11. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me try OK Dad. No, it feels the same. Yeah, no, it feels, it feels exactly the same. Man. No free AR11 skill, guys. I'm sorry to say. Doesn't unlock it. 
Now keep in mind, I'm coming from a 390 hertz monitor of the same size and resolution, so I'm already used to a pretty extreme refresh rate. But it did start to seem like there was something to be said about me performing better on some harder DT maps with the new monitor. I was able to get a couple really nice scores on my stream, like my best runs by far on Sakura no Uta, which is an AR 9.3 270 BPM map with DT. I feel like I could FC this map up until the ending and then choke and get like 600 VP. Am I crazy? Man, normally I, I, I struggle to pass this map. Like that that's just objectively an upgrade for sure. I would absolutely not be getting sub 10 misses on this multiple plays in a row normally, just because of how I struggle to read this BPM usually. Oops. Okay, that was bad. Other than the ending, that was definitely a better run now than the others. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm seeing some immediate improvement on this kind of map. I need more maps like this. After more time using the monitor, I started to notice something weird. Particularly with no mod maps or really anything below that high AR level of reading, I feel worse or less consistent. It's hard to describe, but it was like the AR felt too low. Now you might be thinking, hold on. You're saying that there was barely a noticeable difference outside of high AR fast maps, but at the same time, everything else did feel different and in a worse way? And well, yeah, it's hard to put into words, but unlike when I swapped from 240 to 390 and everything felt like a flat upgrade with the higher motion clarity, this time it felt a lot different and I couldn't really tell why. Maybe I was just having off days when it came to my skill, or maybe it's the fact that this monitor is a TN panel for $900. <laughs> now look, I don't know a ton about monitors. I'm just here to talk about what it was like to use it for Osu. But it turns out my 390 Hertz was an IPS panel monitor that I've learned has way better colors and contrast. Quick editor's note, it turns out TN and IPS panel monitors don't actually have much of a difference in contrast, so I think what I was noticing was more just the colors. Just wanted to clarify that since I mentioned contrast a few more times. Anyway, back to the video. And although TN panels will have slightly better response times, this sort of washed out, gray, faded, poor contrast look that I spent hours trying to get rid of and recalibrate the color settings to fix when first getting the monitor set up, that was just the result of it being a TN panel monitor. And I gotta say, I think that was having more of a negative impact on me than the higher refresh rate was having a positive impact. Now that being said, 540 hertz. I mean, this is objectively the smoothest Osu gameplay has looked, even if only by a little, and that in itself is certainly quite nice. And I did continue to get some nice plays with the monitor as I got more used to it. Nice. I started to become really curious about what it would feel like going back down to the 390 hertz monitor, and then I remembered I can just change the refresh rate. Now at this point, I've been on 540Hz for constant OSU gameplay and daily tasks for four days, and I changed down to 360Hz, and wouldn't you know it, basically no difference. I mean like practically zero noticeable difference on any map outside of maybe a little better motion clarity and approach circles at higher ARs. But then, down to 240 Hz, there's actually a pretty big difference. In fact, even just swapping from 240 to 360 on this monitor results in a pretty noticeable upgrade. But maybe Osu just isn't the best game when it comes to the perceivable benefits of this high refresh rates compared to FPS games, I don't know. There just really is not that much of a difference switching from 360 to 540, which kind of surprised me. So at this point, it's been about a week of using and attempting to grind scores with this monitor, and although I've managed to get my best scores on maps I previously thought were inaccessible to me, I was starting to get bothered by the colors and I really wanted to see what it was like going back to my old monitor. 
I also started to wonder if me performing better on maps like Sakura no Uta was really a result of the monitor or just because of my recent grinding and consistency building leading up to it. Now don't get me wrong, I'd be lying if I said there weren't moments using this monitor where I think, wow, this is insanely smooth, but then I tab out or go to play Nomad and I can't help but notice those negatives about the monitor that make me want to go back to my 390Hz. It's not this objectively great upgrade I was expecting that resulted in me being able to gain consistency with my pre-existing skill where I could have an easier time setting certain plays and just playing in general. It was feeling more like a trade-off. Better refresh rate for worse colors and contrast. So I got to my last day of using it, and it was now time to try switching back to my old monitor. Okay, I'm back with the 390 hertz monitor. And okay, immediately there's something I gotta say about this monitor. It looks so much better. It is unbelievable how much better this monitor looks just on my desktop than the 540 hertz. I don't want this to be too much just shitting on the 540 hertz, but like <laughs> this, this does look significantly better. That being said, I've not played any Osu yet. I just was playing. I had a decently long session on the 540 hertz. It's time on the 390 to see how it's feeling. I'm going to record my kind of at first impressions that aren't really the first impressions. Anyway, I'm gonna record it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. It feels the same. <laughs> Dude. This is AR 9.3 to 70 BPM. ZT. No, dude, I swear it feels no different. I'm actually shocked. That's crazy. I mean, this is 390 hertz. Like, it's not too crazy, I guess, that I'm not seeing that much of a difference. But man, even, even on these 9.3 maps, I'm really not noticing much. All I'm really noticing is that the monitor in general just looks a lot better. This is the main map where I was like, whoa, I feel like I can just play this way better now with the 540 hertz. But let me just give this a couple plays and see if that's really the case. Oh. Single tap speed, not warmed up enough. This is equivalent to like my best run that I've gotten so far on my 540 hertz. I think it turns out the skill that I thought I had unlocked, potentially as a result of the increased motion clarity, is more so probably skill that I gained from all that grinding I did before getting the 540 hertz monitor. I guess I can just play these maps now. That's cool. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm fully switching back to my 390 hertz monitor. Well, guys, interesting, interesting conclusion. Perhaps I'm not the best person to give final thoughts about this monitor for Osu, since I'm already coming from an extreme refresh rate that has a monitor panel with better colors, and I might not be skilled enough to play at a level where I'd really see the benefits of the raw higher refresh rate. But you know who is? Emrek, the rank one player. So I called him up to get his thoughts on the monitor since he's been playing with it recently himself. Emrek, what are your thoughts about the 540 hertz monitor? Do you have any opinions about it in general? I like to think that it does give like a slight advantage, mm -hmm. but I, I think that it actually doesn't give an advantage as to most people think it does. 540 hertz might seem like a lot, like my cursor is like extremely smooth, you know, it feels nice to play on, but honestly, it didn't really do much for my high AR reading. Like, okay. In fact, the monitor was too dark, so I had to put gamma up. It may actually made it a little bit harder for me to see sliders. Do you feel like no mod or, or anything that isn't DT, stuff that is lower AR, do you feel like it's better or worse in any way than it was with your previous monitor? No mod, especially approach circles, like if you just look at the approach circles, it's just extremely smooth. So yeah. like, it might give like a good placebo effect and also like a good feeling just to play no mod in general. But yeah, in terms of high AR reading, not really that much. Interesting. Okay. Do you think the the typical Osu player would have any benefit really of using this monitor? I think if you're just like a not too serious player, like I would say like five digit, yeah, maybe even high four digit. I think that you should probably just start working your way up instead of just going straight into the 540 hertz monitor. You should probably go for like a 144 or 240 instead of right, just 540. Right. I th I've heard that like 
OLED monitors are like much better. Yeah, I've heard that the, doing yeah. this video, I've like researched monitors and I've learned so much about them and I'm like, well, yo, I want a OLED monitor now. Yeah, I think OLED might be a better investment in general, but again, if you're just like a casual four digit player, I still wouldn't recommend getting something that expensive. Right, like, right, yeah. Hertz would be probably good enough. I also do know that like it's 540 hertz and the tablet polling rate is also pretty low. Right. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like it's it's not going to be too noticeable. Like for example, if you play it on like a 1000 hertz mouse, then you'll notice yeah. how much smoother it is. I mean, it's it's a good monitor, but just not too outrageous. Right. That's my conclusion. Yeah. So there it is, 540 hertz. Is it crazy smooth? Is it a flat upgrade probably for most people? Is it noticeable? Yes. But when it's almost a thousand dollars and it's 1080p with a TN panel, that's overall a downgrade, if anything, over this $300, 390 hertz monitor, let alone the high refresh rate, high resolution OLED monitors that you can still get for under $900. I really don't see a situation where this implementation of 540 Hz is worth it, especially for Osu. So if you were worried that there's this peripheral that will help you with Osu that's inaccessible to you because it's crazy expensive and that you're missing out, rest assured that in my opinion, it really isn't like that. At least for now. Until there's 1000 Hz OLED monitors with 0.01 response time, then yeah, that that'll probably be the best thing for- you'll probably play better with that. But we're not there yet. Anyway, subscribe. Goodbye.